Have you noticed how if you want to buy something, but you just can't quite afford it, you find yourself wishing that you were just a little bit more rich? If you want to buy a new car, for instance, but you just can't quite afford it, you wish that you were just a bit richer. But then, you know, when someone tells you that 93% of the world's population doesn't even have a car, that changes things, doesn't it? Richard Stern says it's really all a matter of perspective. He reminds us that if you make $25,000 a year, you make more than 90% of the world's population. If you make $50,000 a year, you make more than 99% of the world's population. In fact, 3 billion people, that's half the people who live on planet Earth, live on less than $2 a day. And you know what else that means? It means that we're supposed to care. We're supposed to do something about it. We're, according to the Bible, supposed to be God's arm and legs and feet making a difference in the world. We're supposed to roll up our sleeves. We're supposed to get out our pocketbooks. We're supposed to give and make a difference. Unfortunately, uh, the record of American Christians when it comes to generosity is, is really not all that good. According to all the statistics, American Christians give about two and a half percent a year. Now, you know that the, the biblical description is that we should tie, that's 10 percent. We tend to say, you know, if, if the economy would just get a little bit better, then we could give more. But the truth is, we gave more during the Great Depression in 1933 than we give today. Richard Stern says that the American Christian Church is the richest church that the world has ever known. We have 5% of the world's population, and we control 50% of its wealth. If the average American Christian was to give 1% more, a body of resource would be developed that would raise the bottom 1 billion people out of extreme poverty. Can you imagine what a world would look like where people were free from poverty, where children did not go to bed hungry, where people had shelter and clean water? You know what that world would be like? It would be a little bit like the kingdom of God on earth. And I'll let you in on a little secret. We can do this. We can tithe by the grace of God and his provision. We can change the world for the better.